Welcome to ProCAD's Ortho software. Let's do a quick demo. Double click the Ortho icon to start the software. In the Drawing Manager dialog box, select the standard to use. We'll use the Twin Lakes project for this demo. Select the new icon, enter a file name, and then double click the file name to open the drawing and the Ortho drawing session. Select the scale to use for the drawing. On the left, you will see the ortho toolbox, and on the lower left, the active settings. And we'll adjust for our project. Let's start by inserting a border. Select a utility tool and the border icon. Pick the border size. Enter the data. This data can be updated at any time during the drawing session or future drawing sessions. Click OK to accept. For this demo, we'll create a plan view and south elevation. Let's begin by placing the limits border for the plan view. Select the tool, pick a point near the top of the border, drag in the direction, and input the values. We'll use 20 feet by 10 feet. You can then add a north arrow to show the direction. Now we're ready to place the equipment. Let's place a vertical vessel in our plan view. Select the tool. For the center point, we'll reference to the corner of the limits border. And then we'll input the data for our vessel, including a base. Click on Draw a Vessel, and the vessel is drawn. Let's enable the auto route feature. This greatly enhances the drafting as it automates the component placement. Now we can place a nozzle. Select the nozzle tool, the insertion point, drag in the direction, and input the nozzle projection. Next, we'll add a weld neck flange. Click OK, and the flange is placed. Add some fittings, add a 90 degree elbow, pick the appropriate icon, and the elbow is placed. We'll continue adding some fittings, knowing that this is the planned view. You can insert a flange set with a gate valve in the planned view, and the valve is placed. We'll add a length of pipe, and then we'll finish off with some fittings. The data for this type of drawing would be known. We can reset the sizes, place more components. This time, a T, and changing the direction. We'll reset our size back to 4 inch, and we'll disable the auto route. Our plan view is done. We can use that plan view to help create the south elevation. We'll draw a line representing grade, and then we can transfer data using our ortho and dragging lines to get some of our dimensional data down to the elevation. We'll create the octagon base. We can input some grade symbols. And now we're ready to place the vertical vessel. Select the tool. This time we'll pick the elevation button. For the center point, we'll use the midpoint of the concrete base. And then we'll input the values for the base height, base radius, outside radius, skirt length, and the seam to seam length. And then click Draw Vessel. Now we can re enable our auto route to make sure that the component placement is automatic. We'll place a nozzle. We'll reference from the bottom seam line, the nozzle projection, and our nozzle is placed. We'll start placing our components. Pick the weld neck flange, pick our elbow. This time add a piece of pipe, being it's the elevation, another elbow. Let's put in that flange set with our gate valve. 
This time we'll rotate to the side, add our length of pipe, another elbow, another piece of pipe, add a reducer, and then our straight T to finish off the piping run. Click OK to accept the current direction. We're now done our piping run. We can disable our auto route feature. And now let's add some annotation to our drawing. We will add the equipment tag. Click near the vessel. Input the value. And click OK. We can add line number. Click near the line, and the line tag shows up. We can add flow arrows, direction. We can add the center line symbol for northings and eastings, adding text in to finish it off, and then the completed view is shown. And we would repeat that same process for the south elevation. There is the completed drawing. Let's zoom up on the plan view, take a closer look, and zoom up on the south elevation with all the data. Lastly, we'll save the drawing and then file and exit. It's that easy.